Food photography in a kitchen is a really complex endeavor. And I want to introduce something to you that's really important and essential to getting all the shots you want to get. Things happen fast when you're in a kitchen. And a lot of times cooks don't understand the needs of photographers. So there are two really key things I want you to understand. One is communication. You have to speak to the person who's going to be making the food so that you can get the shots you want so they know when to slow down and when to allow you to get into the frame and take the picture. The second thing, and I can't stress this enough, is a shot list. Rosa and I had a very long discussion before we started this. We took notes. You need to go over the recipe with the cook and make sure that you understand about all the opportunities that are gonna be presented to you during the making of the food. Not only are we gonna make pasta la norma, we are going to make it in a way that is conducive to making great food photography. So let's get started. I want to get myself in an orientation that helps me to make good food photography, which is my light is coming across and I want to shoot against the light. So what do you have to do next? I'm going to throw in the tomato. This is great. I want to take a photo of that while you're doing it. Okay, tell me what's next. Okay, this is just part of the cooking of the sauce. Okay. I'm gonna transfer the tomatoes and everything in here. Right. I'm gonna mill it. I'm okay. going to get rid of the seeds, the skin, the whole bit. So it's just what's gonna be left is just the extract of all of this. Exactly. Okay. school memories. I'm gonna try to capture what's happening. I wanna get to back. Get on this side? I wanna get on the other side. And you can go ahead, go right ahead. I'm gonna get right in there. I'm gonna go to my 3X lens, get really tight and see if I could see some of that oil sizzling, which is exactly what's happening. And I'm in a live photo, so that will be captured as movement if I so want it to be. I have to do something right now because I have a shot planned for Rosa and I need to get something up on this counter for her. So we're not gonna strain the pasta the way you would normally strain the pasta because we're in a food photography situation. So we have this set up so that when she dumps the pasta out of the pot, I can actually take a picture of the pasta falling out of the pot. How's it doing over there? Almost. All right, let me take a picture while you're doing that. Okay. Go ahead in there, lift it up a little bit, lift it up. Okay, light's flat from that angle. I'm gonna switch around to this side, do it one more time, hold it up into the light. Beautiful. You think the pasta's ready, Rosa? Can I try? Mm. I'm ready. You ready? Get that, be careful, always safety first. Courtesy in a kitchen is always telling your partner where you are. If you have something sharp in your hand or if you have something hot in your hand. So I want Rosa when she comes by me to say hot and I'm gonna step back. So go right ahead. Hot. That's right. And I know verbally that she's saying that she's coming by me with something really hot. Okay, let me get set up here. Anytime I got steam rising, I want to take an opportunity. I got context at the front of my frame, light coming in at the back of my frame. Fantastic. What do you have to do next? I have to do the sauce All back right, in the pan. Let's go.
We picked a dish ahead of time, which is this. Do you like that dish? Beautiful. Let's plate this up and make a beautiful photo. The last thing I wanna do with this is I wanna style this plate for a final beauty shot, and I intend to shoot this from the top. I picked out a napkin and a fork ahead of time. The napkin is here to complement what's happening on this bowl. The bowl is in the brown gold family. So this really attractive gold napkin is gonna add a pop of color to this. It's also gonna kind of bring the whole thing together. So I'm gonna use it almost like a placemat. I also have this left over from the cheese grating. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in the background because I think that it'll add some context to what we're doing. So I'm gonna lay in my fork and come up and take a shot. And there's one other thing I want to do, and I'm gonna beat you to it. Ah, finally. That is so good. Go ahead. Crazy, absolutely crazy. But there still is one last thing I wanna do. I would love to take your picture. Oh, grazie. So. I would love you for you to, to take it. Are you it. ready to pose for me? I can try, All yes. right, excellent, let's do it. Let's do it. This video is a free preview of the iPhone Food Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to start your new adventure as a food photographer. We will go over the foundations of food photography and how to use them in a variety of applications from advertising to stock photography. We will meet incredible people and with them, we'll explore Sicilian food, traditions, and much, much more. If you'd like to learn more about food photography, please take a look at the full version of iPhone food photography. You'll find the link in the description right next to this video. So join the movement by clicking on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.